The FN Model 49 self-loading rifle, also known as the FN-49 or SAFN, is a shoulder weapon which has been chambered in several different calibers. It weighs 9.48 pounds and is 43.7 inches long. The rifling has four grooves and a right hand twist. The twist rate varies depending on chambering. The rifle is self-loading and the standard rifle is designed to deliver single shot fire only. The maximum rate at which any rifleman should fire the rifle is determined by their ability to align the sights and fire accurate shots. To exceed this rate is a waste of ammunition. It is gas operated and has a gas regulation system that permits adjustment of the gas intake to just what is needed to operate the weapon. As a consequence of this, fouling of parts in the action is reduced to a minimum. The gas cylinder plug allows the operator to cut the inlet of gas from the barrel to the gas cylinder, thus preventing the mechanism from working automatically and must be operated directly by hand. This is specifically provided for the launching of grenades and can be done with a cartridge tip. If the gas cylinder plug is difficult to rotate due to fouling, it can be broken free using the rim of a cartridge in the cutout on the face of the plug. The magazine has a capacity of 10 cartridges. It is not detachable for reloading, but can be reloaded while partially empty. A cartridge clip guide is incorporated into the receiver cover, allowing loading of the rifle with 5 round stripper clips. A bolt catch holds the bolt open when the magazine is empty. A hand operated bolt carrier catch permits holding the mechanism in the open position with a loaded magazine. There are no openings allowing dust or mud into the mechanism. This is accomplished with the closed bolt action and a dust cover on the right side of the receiver. On the back of the receiver is the cover locking key which is rotated for removal of the receiver cover. The hole in the back of the receiver, which is used to index the locking key, is aligned with the bore of the rifle, allowing passage of a cleaning rod in order to clean the barrel from the breech. A safety catch is located on the right side and locks the trigger mechanism. It is easily accessible and is easily actuated without removing the hand from the stock. The rifle also has a cocking indicator which extends below the trigger guard when the hammer is cocked and is easily felt. The front blade sight is protected by wing guards and can be adjusted laterally by an armorer. Several different blade heights are available for adjustment. The rear sight is of the peep type, also called an aperture. It is on a tangent leaf attached to the receiver cover. The aperture is protected by wing guards and is adjustable for windage with a screwdriver. The rear sight is adjustable for elevation with the slide by depressing the lock on the left side of the slide. It is marked for 100 to 1000 meters in 100 meter increments. A compartment for storing cleaning items is located in the buttstock and is accessed through the hinge butt plate cap. The two swivels are intended for the sling. Installation and use of slings are covered in separate training films. The next video in the series will cover field stripping the FN-49 rifle. Thanks for watching! If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to HistoryandFirearms.com.